Welcome to Shovelware Diggers. Our dig team is currently excavating the SoftKey Shareware 2000 Hit Games 2 CD Collection. You can find a link in the video description containing the entire directory structure of this archive. It's week 10 and these are the games our dig teams come up with. For more information on how to join the dig team, simply head on over to the Patreon page linked in the video description. Now without further ado, let's begin. First up, we have a team dig. From Patrick Wong and Juan Bourbano, we've got DOS games backslash adventure backslash vampire? Vampire? I don't really know how to pronounce that. I'm going to guess something to do with vampires, if I can actually see the entire folder contents. Um, hmm. Actually, does it? Okay, there's the exe. V-A-M-P-Y-R. Vampire. And yes, I do have enough conventional memory. Vampire Talisman of Invocation? That's kind of weird music. Also, I'm noticing the game's running in 640 by 200 EGA resolution. Which is kind of interesting. Um, by Brian Weston and Victor Shaw. We'll create a new player. Create him as me. Race. Uh, whoa, uh, what? Keep player? No, I don't have no idea what just happened there. Seriously, it just, it just sits here. Um. Interesting. So it, it, I, if I push a key, like it, if I push a letter key, it gives me a race that starts with that letter name. Huh. Well, key player, yes, because I don't want to spend... Whoa, that's a lot of points to distribute. Um, how do I actually distribute them, though? No, seriously, how do I actually distribute them? Enter just goes through all of them. So get this. Here's how you distribute your skill points. The Enter key cycles through them all. The plus key, as a plus symbol, increases, which means pressing the plus slash equals key doesn't work. You have to hold shift and press that so that you actually get a plus sign, which adds to it. Or you can use the numeric keypad. And then minus reduces it. That's pretty annoying when you have to use... When it's detecting the plus sign itself and not the actual key. Okay, I think that looks good. So, journey onward. Okay, it's clearly running too fast, so where's my cycles down button? Well, it still seems like it's running too fast, but then at the same time, it seems like it's not. So this looks like an Ultima clone. Oh, maybe I should have the cycles up. I mean, I know the water looks weird that way, but then I can move around more easily. Um, inspect weapon... Hmm. The weapon in your hand looks fair. I tried pushing a diagonal direction, and that's what caused that. Okay, so that's weird that you can't move diagonally. If you try to move diagonally, it gives you... Are you... I don't know. <laughs> it, it's cre triggering commands. Oh, beautiful. There's no help button. Pretty sure Q is quit. Found the attack... See, the game is insulting me when I decide not to do something. That's not a good sign. Oh, I think I s see an enemy or something. So, attack that direction. Oh, geez. That's a lot more than one enemy. <laughs> um, maybe they won't be so bad? Uh, this was a bad idea. Yeah, even the game's telling me it looks like I'm in trouble. Well, come on, just let me run away. What the heck is this? You make one mistake, you die or something? Okay, the fact that I can't move diagonally, but the enemies apparently can, maybe? I don't know, even the enemies aren't... This is weird. Like, I mean, how is the enemy contacting me for battle when... Yeah, the enemies can move diagonally. So, why am... And then, the thing is, they're actually... Geez, this is not... <sighs> I 
Okay, this is really dumb. I'm gonna try restarting. See if I can just see more of the game. Okay, so that's what the music's supposed to sound like. I guess E for enter? Entering the town of Balanair. Watch me. Rest... Resting is for outdoors only, huh? Hope you'll have a nice day. There's some guards there, so there's clearly some inspiration from Ultima here. You have such a limited view space, though. There's a significant delay in everything, too. Let me give you an example here. I'm about to move up, and it's going to be like this. Key, 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 key. It's like the delay varies. That is so bizarre. And it's not just its not just on an order of, like, a fractions of a second. We're talking, like, sometimes it works instantly, and sometimes you're literally waiting, like, half a second before it actually does anything. That was the half a second wait right there. This is so weird. In some ways, I kind of really don't feel like continuing to play this, because it's so delayed with the controls. I don't even understand what's going on with the... Like... These things are trees, and they're blocking my view, and yet these little things are not trees, and I can look through them? Okay, let's put it this way. Clearly some effort went into this thing. It's just... It feels real rough around the edges. Okay, um... Yeah, if I go to talk to this person and then buy an item... Which all of a sudden isn't working... Okay, there we go. I can't stop that list, so I have to read that list while it's scrolling by and somehow memorize which item I want. And if I don't actually push, like, the button of an item, it just tells me to get out of here. This game is evil-spirited, it's lags like crazy, the battle system is bizarre, you can't move diagonally when the enemies can, and I haven't even really played it yet, and I'm not having any enjoyment just from experiencing this. So it's like, no, screw this game. This game wants to be mean-spirited. I'm not playing it. Our next game was dug up by Brendan of Retro Swim and is DOS Games backslash arcade backslash Bananoid. I actually know what game this is, but I haven't covered it on an ancient DOS game, so might as well take a quick look at it here. Bananoid, a VGA-only freeware package from BD1. Artist programmer William... William Ryder, press button to start. Fair enough. Uh, what button? Oh, right, mouse. <laughs> mouse button. But yeah, the reason I haven't covered this on ancient, ancient DOS games is because there's actually really not a lot to say about it. So I might as well talk about it here. It's basically an Arkanoid clone. Sort of. But the blocks are square. You have a pretty small paddle. And the screen also scrolls a significant amount, so you've got this really wide area that you're trying to keep the ball in play through. Also, the physics are terrible. And, whoa, that... That got insanely fast. I don't remember the game doing that. Okay, this game is actually worse than I remember it. Because, <laughs> yeah, look at how fast... And now it's going slow again. And now it's going fast? I don't know. <laughs> and you can't miss the ball at all. If you miss it even slightly, you don't have a chance to recover. Okay, I think I remember why I didn't haven't covered this on Ancient DOS games, because it's very hard to play this thing. And it's weird, because I don't remember it being this bad. Uh, also, it's, it shoves you back to DOS when you lose, apparently. And there's those are all the keys that I've typed trying to get the game started, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. Well, let's give it another try. I should point out that the mouse control in this game is very slow, but it's also accelerated. So if I move the mouse just a little bit, it's I'm literally moving the mouse significant amount right now, and it's only moving that fast. But if I jump it that same amount, 
it actually does move it. Like that, if I swing the mouse all the way to one side, I barely, like, but, and, and then sometimes it doesn't work. It's, the mouse control, it's, there's like this acceleration thing going on. It's really difficult to get used to. They should have made it so that it just follows the mouse position and not have this acceleration thing. And yeah, you, if if you miss it, the if you miss it, it takes a bit to change the directory of change the trajectory of the paddle again. And there are power ups too, but <laughs> and look at that! I thought I actually had that there, but. Apparently not. Okay, we're finally gonna get the power up here. Now we got the laser. And that apparently didn't count, and now there's a block flashing over there. Huh. Oh, we got an extended paddle. Hopefully that helps. And now we got a tiny paddle, so avoid the white ones. <laughs> Yeah, and the ball, you have to be so precise with the collision detection on the ball. It's weird. I remember this game being a lot better than this, but apparently it wasn't. But, you know, I will say that despite the fact that the game is playing really badly, <laughs> it does look interesting. All it needs is better collision detection, better physics in general, better mouse control, and not dropping you back to DOS, and... It'd be a much better game. But yeah, that's Bananoid. Nothing too special. Not as good as I remembered it. Yeah, this entire episode is a string of bad games, and Sean E's game is no exception. DOS games backslash arcade backslash back fours? Oh boy, I think I know what this is. And I'm not gonna be happy if it is. Oh boy. This is a game I haven't covered on Ancient DOS games yet, but probably will sooner or later. And yeah, there is actually Sound Blaster sound here. Oh yeah. I think some of you even know what this. Yeah. It's a scunny game. Back to the forest. Okay, so... I've covered Scunny Cart, which was that particular Scunny-based game that had the prototype engine for Wacky Wheels stolen into it. So, basically, the thing is, the Scunny games were originally platformers. Not very good platformers. So let me introduce you to the problems that there are with the Scunny platformers. First issue is that the frame rate isn't very good. Second issue, we have a time limit. Third issue, the controls. If you just move left and right a little, they're not so bad. Move a little bit, too much, and you just move really fast. I get it, game. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's that special kind of bad that's really hard to explain, but basically, once you go past a certain speed, it becomes... Past a certain speed, it becomes really difficult to control yourself. See what I mean? Also, the space bar for jumping doesn't always register. I pushed the space bar there, and I didn't jump. I don't know if maybe it's like a sometimes thing or... Ow. Jump, damn it! Jeez. I'm not trying to, like, be stupid with the controls here. They really are so bad that you barely have any real control over this. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen what's going on here and why I'm able to take hits like a bullet sponge, 
the way it works is that the time limit up in the corner is also technically your life, and you refill it by picking up food. So it's kind of like Adventure Island in that, in that respect. Or Wonder Boy, if you want to go the Sega route. Okay, I'm trying my best not to let the controls completely ruin this thing. Whoa, what did I just do? Apparently, I've gained the ability to just destroy the level and turn it into 100 point bricks. It's not even keeping track of my score. What the? F Do I have to hit the toad? There we go. And now it actually gives me points because I beat the level. Fair enough. I think that's the first time I ever beat a level in a Scunny game. <laughs> Even the hub world isn't safe from the controls. Like, I'm gonna demonstrate just how much this hurts. I'm going to hold left, and as soon as I say right, I'll be holding the right arrow, okay? Right. Did you see how long it took to change direction there? If you jump while you're at speed, pushing left or right immediately changes your direction with, like, no inertia whatsoever, despite the fact you have inertia while you're running on the ground. So it's like being airborne kills inertia. The controls in this game are really bad, let's just put it at that. Why am I still playing this? That's it? You lose all your lives in a level, you get game over, and you can't continue. Okay then, more reasons to hate this thing. So yeah, that's Back to the Forest. Scunny Back to the Forest. It's only the shareware version. I'll probably cover this game proper on Ancient De DOS games sooner or later. I just dread the idea of spending money on the full version. <laughs> Let's actually just watch the demo for a moment here, just to see how bad the producers were at this game. Yeah, I'll bet that's the moment when they lost control and completely started hitting things and everything. <laughs> uh, Scunny back in the, f the forest. Don't play it. You, you just don't. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.